Hey guys, Frank here and welcome back to the New Vision channel where we talk about all things real estate. Now our goal with this channel is about learning and sharing sound principles of starting and growing a viable real estate business or any other business for that matter. In this video, we continue the series on real estate bookkeeping. And some of the things we are going to share in this video assumes that you are familiar with previous videos. If you are new to the channel, you can follow the preceding videos in the playlists shown. In preceding videos, we showed how to think of and subsequently how to correctly enter financial transactions of your business into your accounting system. The goal, of course, is not to just capture this data. Your ultimate objective is to firstly use this data for practical purposes such as filing for taxes and applying for loans, etc. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly, this data enables you and any interested party such as investors or lenders to properly assess the health of your business. And this is done through financial reports. There are all kinds of reports that you could run based on the financial transaction data from your business. But in this video, we are going to focus on the three main ones. The first is the income or profit and loss report. The second is the cash flow report. And the third is the balance sheet report. Keeping in mind that the goal is to assess the overall financial health of your business, these three reports tell you different aspects of the state of your business. They work together in a complementary fashion to give you a comprehensive view of the health of your business. Much like the health of a human being, there can be concerns of different natures that would require different kinds of action, some urgent and others not so much. For example, when someone is diagnosed with having a heart attack, the required response is usually swift and immediate, such as calling 911. On the other hand, when someone is diagnosed as being obese, the corrective action may take a little longer, such as diet and exercise. The same is true for your business, and these reports are what would tell you if all is going well, or if there are any issues that you should pay attention to. Every business exists for a reason which is to offer goods or services of some kind to customers in exchange for payment or income. In order to perform this role, the business has certain expenses which it must pay in order to exist and do what it does. The hope of the entrepreneur, investor, or sponsor of that business is that the total expenses are less than the total income or revenue of the business, so that the business owner can walk away with a profit or have additional retained capital to invest into and grow the business. What differentiates one business from another is the type of goods or services offered, but the purpose remains the same. The first of our reports, which is the income or profit and loss report, is what tells you how well or not your business is doing in terms of generating a profit from its activities. The profit and loss report is often referred to as PL for short. It measures all the revenue or income coming into the business over a given period of time, usually a month, and subtracts from it all the expenses that the business incurred over the same period. If what is left over is positive or profit, then all is well and you are happy as a business owner, especially when this profit measures up to your initial expectations. If on the other hand, this difference is negative or a loss, then you have some work to do to make corrections in how your business is run or you may be on your way out of business. Going back to the human health analogy, the cash flow report is similar to making sure your business has the oxygen needed to live. 
most of business is transacted in cash or cash equivalents. And not having enough cash on hand to cover both short and long-term obligations can be equal to a very quick death for the business. So, the cash flow report measures the amount of cash flowing into the business as well as the amount of cash flowing out of the business over a fixed period of time. And it reports what is left over at the end of this period. For a given period for which we want to report the cash flow, we'll typically start with the beginning balance for that period and then add to it all the cash flowing into the business from various sources. Next, we subtract from this total all the cash flowing out of the business. And what is left over is the net cash flow for that period of time. You might ask if this is not the same as the income or profit and loss report that we described in the beginning. And you would be right in some instances. The main difference is twofold. Firstly, the profit and loss or PL report can sometimes include non cash transactions. And secondly, the PL report only focuses on the income category as the source of incoming money and the expense category as the source of outgoing money. Meanwhile, the cash flow report includes inbound and outbound money from all of the categories of the business, including assets, income, liabilities, expenses, and equity. So, in a sense, it's a measure of all inflowing cash to the business and all outbound cash from the business for a given period of time. The purpose of it is just to make sure that the business has enough short and long-term cash reserves to maintain its operations. Together, the profit and loss report and the cash flow report addresses the question of financial efficiency of the operations of the business. The balance sheet report, on the other hand, addresses more the question of who has claims to the assets of the business at any given point in time. So you would see that the PL report and the cash flow report are usually covering a period of time while the balance sheet is usually for a specific point in time. The balance sheet starts with a clear statement of the assets of the business, that is, what the business owns, and that is followed by a clear statement of what the business owes, that is, its liabilities. And finally, the difference between the assets and the liabilities would be what the owners of the business can lay a claim to, that is, the equity. In future videos, we will look at each one of these reports separately to see a little bit more detail into what it contains and how you can use them to better manage your business. Please let us know in the comments below if you find this type of content helpful. You would be encouraging us to create more by clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please click that notification button so that you will immediately know when we put out new content. Many thanks and see you in the next video.